Yeah, man. You could do it. <laughs> All right, how's it going, YouTube? So today we're going to be taking a look at Ice Cream Sandwich on the Nexus S4G. I know I'm a little bit late to making this video, but uh, I had been a little busy and uh, I finally had time to make it. So starting with the lock screen, we're now going to have the Roboto font, which is really nice to see on a 4-inch display. Really, really nice, really sleek, really sexy, really nice uh, typography there. Uh, you also have the option to unlock to the left to go straight into the camera and unlock to the right to just go straight into your home screen. We're going to do that. Everything seems to be really nice on the Nexus S4G. Not slow, not buggy, just seems to work just fine. So we have uh, a new and improved uh, dock down in the bottom. You can drag and drop a bunch of different applications. So if I want my browser down there, I can do that. You also have the option of making folders and dropping them down there, which is really nice. If I don't want that there, I can drag it out. If I don't want my camera there, I can drag it out. Let's say I want to make a folder out of these here. You basically just drag and drop, and that's all there is to it. The, um, the folders are actually really nice. Uh, the animation that they have, the attention to detail that uh, Google put into this is really nice. You can tap that there, rename your folder to whatever it is that you want to name it to. Uh, you also have a new and improved keyboard. The Ice Cream Sandwich keyboard is probably one of the best out there. I know a lot of people swear by the Apple iPhones keyboard and a lot of people really dig the uh, Windows Phone keyboard. I myself, I'm an Ice Cream Sandwich kind of guy. I, I love the keyboard. It's very, very responsive. Really nice to see that. And uh, I'm glad they, they brought that over to the Nexus S4G. So, Again, folders are really elegant, really nice. If you want to throw away an application, let's say I bring this one to my home screen. Now, uh, when you pick it up and you want to throw it away, I was a little confused at first. Now you drag it up, you drag it up, and then that's the way you delete them. So that's just a little bonus there. Your notification bar is going to be different now. Now it's in that blue theme, that cyan or cyan color, uh, the the ice cream sandwich color. Uh, if you have notifications, you can drag them to the side and throw them away. If you have a bunch and you just want to, you know, you've already seen them, you just want to get rid of them, you can tap that X there. Everything looks really sleek, really sexy, all in the blue color there, your Wi-Fi, uh, the amount of bars that you have, the time, really, really nice. You can also tap that and you can go straight into your settings. And in ice cream fashion, they're all in the section, so you have your wireless and networks device information, personal, and system. You also have the developer options there, so if you tap that and you're an option kind of person, you're gonna have a ton of fun here. A Bunch of different developer options, turning things off, turning them on, little tweaks here and there. Really nice to see that, really smooth, really nice. You also get that nice color down the bottom to let you know you've reached uh, the top or the bottom. Really nice to see that, really smooth settings there. Uh, your app drawer is actually modified as well so just like with the Galaxy Nexus you don't have uh, vertical scrolling you now have horizontal scrolling and you have these nice beautiful animations here so when you're dragging from page to page you can see what's coming up with that nice 3D effect there really nice to see that you also have all the stock Google widgets which is really nice so you can just have apps widgets and then you also have this uh, link to go to the market I don't know if uh, if Sprint's the one that's issuing this up uh, this widget here. I don't know if it, this is actually something that my niece downloaded, but I think it's it's something that is actually special and unique to the Nexus S4G. You have a 4G toggle, which is really nice to see, uh, and then you have all of the stock Google widgets that you can play around with. Really, really nice to see all of the Google the stock Google widgets here. Uh, multitasking is is here, and it's better than ever. Really nice to see that. Uh, you can just scroll up and down really smooth too, surprisingly smooth. Uh, nice to see Google uh, making this work on a single core phone. When you're done with them, you can just swipe them to the right. Really nice to see that. You can also tap and hold. You can get the app information or you can remove it from the list. If you go into app information, it's basically like when you go to settings and manage applications, you'll be able to see all of the information there. You also now have access to Chrome Beta. Uh, some are going to hate it, some are going to love it. I myself, I've been playing a little bit with it and it's working pretty pretty well here. You have the tab interface, really nice to see all the different things here. If we tap that, we can go into that, ta um, 
that open tab, we can go back to that one. Uh, also, you can go into landscape mode, which is really nice. And it just looks really, really nice. I'm going to focus here. Um, so you can just uh, see all the attention to detail that Google put into this. I know uh, Matias Duarte has been working on this. Everything just looks really nice. Uh, if you're not uh, too crazy about Chrome Beta, you can also use the stock browser. The stock browser also has been improved, which is really nice. Uh, everything seems to be a little bit smoother, uh, a little more responsive. Um, but it's only going to get as responsive as you know a phone that, that has a single core phone. And if you visit sites like The Verge or Android Central or something that's pretty uh, heavy, you're still going to run into certain hiccups here and there. But over, overall, it seems to be uh, much improved. Also, uh, let me see, uh, YouTube has also been improved. Now we're running the uh, stock version of, of the YouTube app running Ice Cream Sandwich. So it's a little bit brighter. Uh, you have the white colors. Everything just looks really nice. I haven't had too many problems with uh, the app crashing, which isn't something that I can say with my Epic 4G Touch. Everything has been really crazy with uh, Gingerbread and the YouTube app on that phone. So on this, it's been performing uh, just uh, exceptionally well here. So really nice to see that. Also very quickly, we'll talk about the camera. The camera, we have the new ICS interface. So everything is a little bit uh, simpler to use. Everything just looks really nice. Um, you have the blue uh, color theme as well. If you tap that, you're gonna be able to see the menus here all in the blue theme, really nice. You also now have the panoramic option here. So if you're into that type of thing where you wanna take a panoramic picture, you can choose to do so. You can just tap that, go straight into video recording, tap that, and then go straight into the camera. And the camera, you know, the Nexus S4G had a pretty decent camera, so uh, we'll focus there. There we go, we'll take the picture. That's all there is to it. Really nice to see that. Awesome little camera on the Nexus S4G. Uh, it's also nice to have uh, the capacitive buttons. I know with Ice Cream Sandwich, some people like the fact that there's virtual buttons as opposed to capacitive buttons. I myself, I'm a little bit more old school. I like the cap uh, capacitive buttons there. So if we tap settings, you're gonna get certain you know, uh, certain things that the Galaxy Nexus doesn't have because it doesn't have capacitive buttons. Uh, although you do have drawbacks like holding home to be able to get into your multitasking mode here. So really nice, really pleased with the Nexus S4G running ice cream sandwich. The fact that you can now get a Nexus S4G for about, I think it's free now on Sprint. Uh, you can also hit uh, sites like Craigslist or eBay to find really cheap Nexus S4Gs. Uh, I've seen them go from anywhere from $100 to about $160. Bucks. And uh, if you work with the person, you can probably get them for cheaper. I haven't had good luck uh, actually getting one. I was supposed to meet with a few people to, to get one. Uh, those people actually didn't show up. So you got to make sure they have a clean ESN and that they're in fair condition and that you could get them for, for cheap. And I think that's going to be a good option for those of us that maybe aren't too crazy about the Galaxy Nexus, the fact that you have stock ICS on a nice form factor. This is really nice. Four inch phone, uh, contour display, really sexy, really nice. Um, you know, it might be a, a good option for, for some of you. Uh, I myself, I'm gonna pick up the Galaxy Nexus and review it uh, for the channel and, and basically just pick it up, see if, if I like it now uh, more than I did with Verizon. So if I missed anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe if this is something that you enjoyed. And if this was something that you enjoyed, feel free to hit the thumbs up button there. And if I missed anything, let me know if there's something that you want to see. Uh, the verdict on this, though, is thumbs up. Uh, it's, a, it's an A. Uh, it's a 10 out of 10. I'm really, really digging it. Really nice. Uh, the keyboard's better. The camera's better. The browser is awesome. Uh, Chrome beta is really good. The multitasking feature, the folders, the dock, everything just seems to work on the, Gal on the uh, Nexus S4G. So thank you so much for watching uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.